to integrate x squared over 1 minus x, it doesn't look like u substitution is going to work. We can't let u equal x squared because the derivative of that is 2x, which is not going to help us capture what's in the denominator. On the other hand, if we let u equal 1 minus x, the derivative of that is negative 1, which is not going to capture the numerator. So what are we to do? Well, noticing that we have a square in the numerator, you may think about the difference of squares. If only the numerator was a difference of squares, then we could factor it into x minus 1 and x plus 1, and then we could cancel with the denominator. Now, of course, there is no minus 1 in the numerator, but we could put a minus 1 in the numerator as long as we also add 1 in the numerator. So in the end, we're not changing anything, but we are making it so that we can start to rewrite things. So in the numerator, I'll put minus 1 and plus 1. Haven't changed anything, so this is totally valid. But then x squared minus 1 is a difference of squares, which we can rewrite as x minus 1 times x plus 1. And then, of course, we still have that plus 1 hanging out in the numerator. Now we can split this fraction. We can have this as the numerator in one term, and this as the numerator in the other term. And that looks like this. So we've just split this fraction across that addition. Now this term we can easily integrate. It's just going to be a natural log function. And this term we still have a little bit of work to do, but notice we can do some cancellation. This factor, x minus 1, doesn't exactly match 1 minus x but it's just the negative of 1 minus x. So if we just pull a negative out of x minus 1, then the factors will match. So for x minus 1, we pull a negative out of it. Now you can see if we distributed this negative 1 back through, we would get a negative 1 and we would get a positive x. So that would get us right back there. The reason we did that is now we have 1 minus x and 1 minus x, and we can cancel those. All that will remain in this term, then, is negative x plus 1. So we have negative x plus 1 and still plus 1 over 1 minus x. And now we're prepared to integrate. This is negative x, and the integral of that is negative 1 half x squared, just using the power rule. And then we also have negative 1. The integral of that is negative x. And then the integral of 1 over 1 minus x is the natural log of the absolute value of 1 minus x. But then you have to remember, if we took the derivative of this, the chain rule would give us a factor of negative 1. And so we need to throw in a negative that would undo that, which is why we have that subtraction there. And then, of course, add the arbitrary constant, and that's it. The integral of x squared over 1 minus x is negative half x squared minus x minus the natural log of the absolute value of 1 minus x plus c. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlist in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Mama. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.